Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing a little tag which I haven't done in ages. I'm going to be doing the Reading Habits tag which I saw Ariel Bissett do a couple of weeks ago. I wasn't tagged in this at all. Look, I just wanted to do it, you know. So the first question is, do you have a certain place at home for reading? I don't really have like a specific place for reading, but the place I most commonly read is here on my bed. I do sometimes read in the living room, but I kind of prefer to be understood when I'm reading. So I kind of really prefer to read by myself in my own bedroom. The second question is a bookmark or random piece of paper so I have a mug full of bookmarks so I'm definitely more of a bookmark person than just a random piece of paper if I don't have like a bookmark on hand then I will use like a napkin a post-it note a receipt clothes labels but yes I do have an assortment of bookmarks I got this mug as a Christmas present from a housemate a few years ago I have quite a few from the book depository I have a few from Gaze the Word, which is a bookshop in London. I got a couple uh, in primary school. These are bookmarks we used to reward to you if you got 100% attendance. So I have quite a few of those. Question number three, can you just stop reading or do you have to stop after a chapter slash a certain amount of pages? Personally, I have to stop after a chapter. I remember when I was younger, I did used to stop at like a paragraph break on a page or something. But now I pretty much always stop after a chapter. In terms of the certain amount of pages, when I read, I do kind of set a goal for myself of how, of how many pages I want to read within like a certain session because then otherwise I barely read anything. That's just personally for me. I know people don't like to set themselves goals when they're actually reading because it takes us one out, out of it or whatever. But for myself, so I can actually get a good amount of reading done, I kind of have to do that. So I usually be like, okay, today I want to get to this page number or I want to read 50 or 100 pages or I will just set a timer for an hour on my phone and then I'll read until the timer goes off. It usually kind of works out that the timer will go off when I get to a chapter. Number four, do you eat or drink while reading? I kind of do. I don't like eat full meals or anything. I might just have like a snack. Like personally, I really don't find it that hard to like reading book like this, for example and then just like eating some of it with the other hand. I'd say with drinking to be honest, like I always have a bottle of water near me. So for me, it's very easy to just be reading and then I can be like, have a sip of water you know also if you do listen to all your books and you like eating your meal like your lunch your dinner or something at the same time as listening to your book that does count as eating and reading at the same time and i know i've definitely done that before question number five multitasking music or tv while reading tv is an absolute no for me there's no way i can read at the same time or at least like try and read properly at the same time as the tv is on in the background if i'm reading and like the parents are watching tv I will put in my like Bluetooth headphones which are noise cancelling and I will listen to some music to like kind of block it out. I like very occasionally listen to music whilst reading as only in specific circumstances. I read better when it's nice and quiet. If say like my parents are playing some music which is kind of loud and distracting I will put in my own music and I can't listen to any like pop music or anything with lyrics. It has to be without lyrics, some kind of instrumental piece of music. I used to listen to kind of like classical piano music but now uh, I, what I tend to do on Spotify there is a playlist called uh, lo-fi beats which is basically my reading playlist if you've ever been on youtube and you've seen live streams which just play lo-fi like chill study relaxing music on a loop it's basically that kind of music and i don't know if this really counts as music but there is a youtube channel i think it's called asmr rooms or something basically we do kind of soundscape videos so they do like a lot of harry potter based ones so like the individual hogwarts house common rooms there's one where it's like in the hogwarts library there's one where it's but in the forbidden forest by the lake outside the castle loads of different ones i have listened to those a couple times whilst reading because it's just like nice background noise basically question number six one book at a time or several at once well recently i've kind of been reading several at once but i am usually more of a one book at a time person recently i was reading several at once but it was quite organized so i was basically reading three books at once. One of them was the book that I read during the day <laughs> and then I had an audio book and then I had another book which I only read at night in bed so I kind of like organised it that way. Right now I am only currently reading one book although if you go to my Goodreads it does look like I am reading two other books. However on Earth Will Be Fully Gorgeous I started reading but because it's an ebook I don't really read ebooks that much and I wasn't that invested in it so, so I've kind of put it to the side for now and also The Ocean at the End of the Lane is an audiobook which I started uh, last year during the reading rush but I never finished 
However, I would like to get back into it and I do have intentions on finishing it, although at this point I'm going to have to start from the beginning again. Question number seven, reading at home or everywhere? Read mostly at home because I don't go out a lot and also with the current situation in the world, you know, we're on lockdown here in the UK so, so I kind of have to stay at home. But I ha do kind of read everywhere if I can. I know a lot of people when they're giving advice on how to read more, they say like, oh bring your book everywhere and like read when you're like in the waiting room for a doctor's appointments or whatever. That is like genuinely good advice but for me I feel like when I'm reading like waiting for appointments or something I can't get like that invested or I might be really into it and then I get called in for my appointments and then I have to like stop in the middle of the page which I don't really like doing and I feel like in that situation when I'm reading I'm always on the edge that I'm gonna get like cooled up but yeah I'm definitely not against it I've read on trains before I've read on the beach you know all types of places so <laughs> question number eight reading out loud or silently in your head pretty easy one I read silently in my head I pretty much never read out loud. <laughs> Question number nine, do you read ahead or even skip pages? Very easy answer again, no I do not. Sometimes I might, depending on how I'm enjoying the book or whatever, I will skim read a page, but I've never read ahead or skip pages. Question number 10, breaking the spine or keeping it like new? So I kind of used to be anti breaking the spine. In fact, I have a pin that says don't crack the spine, but now I kind of like don't mind it because I prefer to be comfortable when I'm reading. And I don't want to be reading like this where I can't read the words that I need the spine at all. And to be honest, I feel like a lot of the time you can't even really tell that much unless you look really closely. On this book, you can kind of tell you can kind of tell if you look closely but I think that's just because it's black and also the lettering is like metallic silver with the spine being broken then the lettering becomes a little bit like damaged but to be honest but this book has like a bunch of like tabs in it anyway so it just looks like it's been read which I don't really mind that much. <laughs> Question number 11 is, do you write in your books? And the answer is no I do not. <laughs> the only time I've written in a book which was a few years ago was a poetry book and that was in pencil and that was me just like underlining like doing little bits of it but I don't annotate my books at all other than to stick in like some tabs and stuff and that's pretty much it <laughs> so yeah that's the reading habits tag if you're watching this video then I tag you to do it I guess I'll leave the questions and everything in the description box anyways I hope you enjoyed uh, this video today give it a thumbs up if you did I hope you're all okay and you have a great day and I will see you in my next video Bye.